Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel Video Tutorials. This is part 3 of the Design of Experiments video series. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the use of the Response Surface Design and the Analyze Response Surface Design tools included in Sigma Excel. Response Surface Designs allow you to model curvature by including quadratic terms in the model and can be used to maximize or minimize response within the design range of values. I'll be using a layer cake baking experiment with taste score measured on a scale of 1 to 7, where 1 is awful and 7 is delicious, being the response variable. The factors are A, bake time, 20 to 40 minutes, and B, oven temperature, 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The goal is to find the settings that maximize taste score. Other factors such as pan size could be taken into consideration, but for the purpose of this video, they will be held constant. Click Sigma Excel, Design of Experiments, Response Surface, Response Surface Designs. The number of X factors can be 2 to 5. Select number of factors equals 2. The available designs are sorted by number of runs. Increasing the number of runs allows for uniform precision or blocking, but we will select the design with fewest runs. The 10 run, central composite design, two center points. As discussed in a previous video with the catapult experiment, it is a good practice to replicate an experiment if affordable to do so. Here, we will select number of replicates equals 2 and check block on replicates. Blocking on replicates allows us to perform the experiment over a two week period with each block corresponding to week number. Change the alpha axial value option to face centered alpha equals 1. This simplifies the design to a 3-level design, rather than a 5-level design with alpha equals 1.414. The trade-off is that we lose the desirable statistical property of rotatability for prediction. Now I'll enter factor names, level settings, and the response name. Click OK to generate the worksheet. As with the two-level factorial screening design that was demonstrated in the previous video, information about the experiment can be entered in the fields provided at the top of this worksheet. The responses from the randomized order can be entered in the taste score column highlighted in yellow. For the sake of this video, we'll use the completed worksheet for this experiment. Open the file RSM example cake bake to obtain response values. Click Sigma Excel, Design of Experiments, Response Surface, Analyze Response Surface Design. We'll use the default Analyze settings, all terms in the model including the block term, to start. Click OK. The resulting analysis report is generated. This model looks very good with an R-square value of 99%. The standard deviation, experimental error, is only 0.19 on a 1 to 7 taste scale. All of the model terms are statistically significant with a p-value of less than 0.05, but the block term is not, so it should be removed from the model. Note that AA and BB denote the quadratic model terms. Click Recall Last Dialog or press F3. Uncheck Include Blocks. Click OK. The revised report is generated, with the block term removed from the model. To create a contour and surface plot, click Sigma Excel, Design of Experiments, Response Surface, Contour Surface Plots. Click OK. The contour and surface plots are generated. This contour plot shows us that an approximate maximum taste score can be obtained with a bake time, factor A, of 23 minutes, and an oven temperature, factor B, of 368. Now we'll use the predicted response calculator. Click on the Analyze Two-Factor RSM tab. Scroll across to view the calculator. Enter 23 for predictor A, which is bake time, and enter 
368 for predictor B, which is the oven temperature. These initial settings were determined from the contour plot as an estimate to yield a maximum taste score. Excel Solver may also be used to get a more exact solution. Click Data, Solver. We want to maximize the taste score response, which is cell M26. Set objective M26 to max by changing variable cells, the actual settings, K26 and K27. Cells L26 and L27 are the coded settings and are constrained to less than or equal to plus one and greater than or equal to minus one. Had we selected a rotatable design with an alpha axial value of 1.414, the coded variables would have been constrained to plus and minus 1.414. The completed solver parameters are shown. Click Solve. Solver indicates that a solution was found. Although the model is predicting values that exceed the maximum taste score of seven, this is expected to give us the best possible settings for cook time and bake temperature. Click OK to keep the solution. Additional experimental runs carried out at time equals 23.4 minutes and temperature equals 367.7 Fahrenheit confirm that these are ideal settings. This concludes part three of the Design of Experiments tutorial video series, Design and Analysis of Response Surface Experiments. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.